slow motion action sequence. With the new Deadpool and Wolverine trailer joining Marvel's Multiverse Saga, fans have taken to the comics to see what variants of Wade Wilson we might meet on the screen. We know Blake Lively is playing Lady Deadpool, but is there a chance of more mercs with a mouth floating around? Say perhaps one from a twisted universe with an agenda against mutants. After all, we don't know what characters populate the universe the Wolverine in the movie is from. All we know is that in this movie, the X-Men's world went to shit. Could it be because of a mutant-hating government that equips super-powered individuals to hunt those with the X-Gene on live television? And could one of these individuals be Wadey Wilson, aka Deadpool from the Ultimate Universe? Well, we won't know these answers until Deadpool and Wolverine comes out, but we do know who Wadey Wilson is. And if you too are intrigued by how there's a Deadpool that hunts mutants, then just keep on watching. Be warned, it gets gruesome. Before we get into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. Who is Deadpool on Earth 6100? To know about this merc that hunts mutants, we must look at what happened in the Ultimate Universe when it came to mutants. Basically, the X-Gene came into being when the Canadian government experimented on James Howlett to try to create a super soldier. Later, Eric would kill these people and rescue James, who would now become Wolverine. After seeing the treatment Wolverine got, Eric convinced Charles to start the Brotherhood of Mutants. While Charles eventually leaves because of how radical Eric would get, Magneto's actions make humans fear mutants more than they do on Earth-616. This would lead to live mutant hunts. So how does Deadpool come into the picture? Is he like Trask from X-Men 97? A mutant radicalized enough to hunt others of his kind? No, Wadey Wilson is a super-powered human who was injured when he was serving in Wakanda. In the Ultimate Spider-Man issue 93, he has a reinforced helmet giving his face a human appearance, despite missing skin and missing parts of his skull. We meet the character in the Ultimate Spider-Man comics arc when Wadey attacks the X-Mansion during one of Spidey's accidental visits. See, Kitty Pride had sent the empty X-Men plane to Peter's apartment, and like the sweetheart he is, Parker came to her rescue. Not only do Wadey and his allies succeed in using tech that disguises them to infiltrate the X-Mansion, the Reavers also capture several X-Men, and Wadey takes Spider-Man along too. The worst part? Wadey impersonates Kitty, Spider-Man's then-girlfriend, to attack him. He sure does love the show. Trust me, this is where it gets dark. In the name of showbiz, Ultimate Deadpool throws Spidey and the X-Men overboard from a plane, saying it's better to hear their screams than to kill them when they're unconscious. And of course, all this is happening on Krakoa, off the coast of Genosha, which in the Ultimate Universe is ruled by a mutant-hating government. And it's pretty gruesome. For example, there's Mojo, who hunts mutants on live television. We get to hear Deadpool's version of the events. The Reapers, which he's a part of, believe that mutants are terrorists and have mechanically modified themselves to hunt them down. Deadpool says that the mutants he's captured broke international law by flying onto his plane, but we also saw his team impersonate different mutants and attack them in the X-Mansion. Wadey says some pretty racist stuff about the mutant population, comparing them to animals. He seems to believe in the narrative that mutants think they're better than humans, and the world wants to show them that they aren't. This is like the Hunger Games, but the X-Men version. Of course, eventually the X-Men make it out safely. When the mutants and Spidey try to discover who's behind the mask Deadpool wears in this universe, Wadey tries to trick them into believing it's Professor X himself, except the Spidey sense can't be tricked, y'all. The truth comes out and Wadey is enraged. After all, he protected Spidey's identity with one of Wadey's men trying to unmask the hero. Before Wadey can take some lives, Kitty Pride ends him. She phases through him, causing, and this gets morbid, him to explode. Yet, despite not being a mutant and thus not having Deadpool and Wolverine's famous healing, Wadey somehow survives and follows the gang. Wondering where that'll go? Well, wonder not, because here's the fate of Deadpool from the Ultimate Universe. Wadey Wilson ended up joining the evil Deadpool Corps with the Dreadpool. They were opposed to the regular Deadpool Corps. Dreadpool wanted to end all Deadpools since he believed that them knowing that they were fictional meant that Deadpools could affect reality. To Dreadpool, this made the Deadpools a problem to be eradicated. The inevitable had to happen, and Wadey came up against Wade, the Deadpool from Earth-616. In this comic issue known as Deadpool Kills Deadpool, our Deadpool eventually kills Wadey with a sword to the chest, ending the terror of this mutant hunting merc with a mouth. It's a single action scene where Wadey isn't even named. Considering at that point a darker Deadpool was trying to kill all Deadpools across the multiverse, it makes sense that despite being almost pure evil, Wadey was not even considered that much of a thorn in anyone's side. Wade answered that, I suppose. And are we even surprised that 616 Deadpool could best this mutant hunter? Despite all his skills, Wadey was no match for Wade's powers and healing factor. Wade legit stabbed Wadey while shooting at another evil Deadpool. At the same time! Wadey looked so shocked, but what were the skills that Wadey showed when fighting that caused him to be so flabbergasted that he could be bested and that too so easily? Ultimate Deadpool skills and powers. Despite his big mouth getting him into trouble, Wadey was still extremely skilled. 
an Olympic level athlete, he was also an excellent marksman. He was also a master martial artist with superhuman durability, reflexes, and great stamina. Alongside all these, he has an image distorting cloaking device, which he used in the Ultimate Spider Man comics to infiltrate the X Mansion and capture Spidey and the X Men. What do you think of Wadey? We don't think he holds a candle to Wade Wilson from Earth 616. But we'd love to hear your thoughts. Until then, it's time for a marvelous review. Wadey Wilson seems like a piece of work. He's racist and bigoted, and has gone to great lengths to be able to do what he believes is right. The creators of this character have shown how an admirable trait can get twisted when a person believes in discrimination and differences. Even though he seems to have a certain amount of gravitas in the Ultimate Spider-Man issue 93, he's still someone who has the trademark Deadpool sass that fans love. While skilled, he also does not seem to value others, which is evident by how he captures Peter alongside the X-Men, despite not knowing whether Peter is an X-Man. He's ready to kill some children, including one who might not even be part of what Wadey believes is a terrorist group, just cuz. And he relishes in the pain he causes to those he sees as animals, showing us how diabolical the character is. Essentially, a twisted form of everything fans love about Deadpool and Wade Wilson. Wadey is the extreme end of what humans can be like toward mutants. And it is chilling. For more X-Men content, stay tuned to Marvelous Videos. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks, everyone.